There has been a devastating scandal in the world of sport. At a fishing tournament in Cleveland on Friday, a duo that had been declared winners were caught cheating. Of course, this was fishing, so after they were caught, they were released. <laughs> And that is the perfect segue to our next guest there, Colbert referencing the investigation underway in an apparent cheating scandal at a major walleye fishing tournament in Ohio. On Friday, two fishermen, Jake Runyon and Chase Kaminsky, set to win a nearly $30,000 prize when they were disqualified after it was discovered that their fish were stuffed with lead weights and also fish fillets. Here's the moment. Tensions ran very high after that moment. Joining us now is Steve Hendricks. He is a competitive angler who was part of the competition that day. He was there for that moment. Steve and his teammate, Brian Ulmer, ended up winning Team of the Year honors after those two uh, allegedly cheating fishermen were disqualified. Steve, thank you so much. First off, congratulations. That's a big honor uh, to be Team of the Year. Um, but just tell us about this moment as you witnessed these lead balls being pulled from these fish. What was that like? Well, it was a crazy weekend. We had, uh, they came up and uh, they had their fish out in the in the tank and they were getting ready to come up and they picked up a fish that should have weighed about four pounds and they set it on the scale and it said eight and then they put the rest of their five in and it came up to 35. So everybody was going nuts as you can see in the video and it was, it was very obvious this time that uh, they weren't going to get away with that. So it's just, it's a shame that that had to happen and uh, I'm just glad that they got caught and it's been a long time coming, so. A long time coming. You said you've suspected this in previous competitions. One of the things we've learned is that there are actually polygraphs in some of the larger competitions, and one of these competitors uh, failed a polygraph in a previous one, which cost them. You've suspected this, you and others. We People had good ideas and, and thoughts about it, but like anything, you know, you want to give people the benefit of the doubt, but, uh, you know, some when you fail one and pass one and and there's different things and they blow everybody out of the water by five six seven eight pounds every time and just you know some shady stuff going on so um they've been investigated they've done the polygraphs you know jason fisher's done a great job trying to do polygraphs and testing and asking questions and doing everything he can do to keep it legit but um they got they got it this time so you know, I wonder, in this case, we're talking about weights of almost eight pounds. And it seems like maybe if they'd gone for less, they would have gotten away with it and still won. So what needs to change in pro fishing to make sure this doesn't happen again? So I think they're going to they're gonna bring in some, uh, maybe uh, some kind of uh, x-ray, maybe scanning, or maybe uh, top five boats, maybe they open the fish to see what's, what's in the fish and... Uh, that way take all the question out of it i mean there's you know this is a this is a rare rare thing 99.9 .9 percent of the group is there there's none of this this isn't something that happens all the time and uh you know we got a great group of guys they got a lot of benefits they do a lot of donations we have great sponsors and it's a great group of guys out there doing what they love and uh it's just a shame we had to deal with this but at the same time it's a good thing it'll be an eye opener for everybody and and we got the bad ones out of there. So going forward, there'll be, uh, like I say, those maybe a few of those items, and we're kicking around a bunch of ideas now, what we can do to make it better. Yeah, look, there's a lot of money at stake here, both in the earnings and when it comes to sponsorships, for sure. But county prosecutors uh, in Cleveland have opened an investigation into this. Have, have you talked to them? What do you think needs to happen here? Um, I really haven't. Uh, we just, you know, Jason, uh, the tournament director, Jason Fisher, he handed over everything that we had. They were there collecting evidence and getting everything. And I just hope that I hope they get them for everything they can for what they've done. Everybody, these guys are, you know, they're out there. They got a lot of money tied up in, in trucks and boats and travel and work. And, you know, it means a lot to them. That's what they love to do. And they're out there trying to do a great job. And, and it's just, it's unfortunate that a select few can, come in and ruin all that for you. So 
I hope they get the max. Well, look, it's an unbelievable moment caught on camera there. Um, Steve, thank you so much for being with us uh, again, and also congratulations again to you and your partner. We appreciate your time this morning. All right, thank you very much.